Kim Schaffer is here. She's answering the calls, and I think you probably have one or two about Windows 10. Oh, it's going to be all about Windows 10 today, I have a feeling. All right. Um, Jimmy from Maryland is a gamer, and he wants to know if he should go from 8.1 to ah, 10. Great question. Hi, Jimmy. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Windows 10. I haven't really thought of switching yet, but I don't know. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, of course, the most important reason to switch to Windows 10 is DirectX 12. So they are, you know, DirectX, as you, I'm sure, as a gamer know, is the engine for gaming that gives them direct access to the video hardware. It makes the games work better and faster. Microsoft came out with DirectX years ago, which probably gives you a clue as to why it's DirectX 12 in Windows 10. Um, and both AMD and NVIDIA, who make those video cards that you use uh, for your video games, say they will support DirectX 12 at launch. Now, it is brand new, so it may not... What's your, what game do you play? What do you like? Uh, I've been Battlefield 4 and Grand Theft Auto. All right, those are pretty high-powered games. I, I think the thing to do is wait and see, look at your video card, and wait and see when DirectX 12 and Windows 10 support comes out. Okay. And, and, uh, and, you, and in fact, some people are saying you know, some of the more advanced features of DirectX 12 won't be supported with the current crop of hardware. You'll have to get even a, a new video card to take advantage of it. But I do think eventually Microsoft knows that games are important to Windows users. That's one of the big drivers in uh, technology and hardware. And they paid, and they paid lip service to it by saying yes, and we're going to update DirectX specifically for uh, Windows 10. So I think it's going to be a big deal, and it's going to be something that you're going to want to pay attention to. You don't have to rush the games you have right now. Probably the video card you have right now doesn't, I would guess, even support DirectX 12. Um, so the the real question is going to be when when will it? Event, you know, you get the free upgrade for a year. You have a year to decide. Some people have asked, well, is, is Microsoft just going to say after a year, okay, on, on July 29th, 2016, okay, pay up? Uh, I think so. I think it's free. If you upgrade in the next year, it'll be free forever. But if you wait till uh, August 1st, 2016, it'll be 100 bucks. So don't wait too long, okay? <laughs> but you can safely wait for now. And uh, you know, I, I I think that it's probably the case that um, uh, you should you should wait a few weeks, no matter what, just to see if anybody goes. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look what happened! If everything goes well, and and watch your game forums and uh, what people are saying. If everything goes well, as soon as you see drivers for your hardware for DirectX 12, and that should be soon if it hasn't happened already, then it's safe to do that. And you, may, and you will get a benefit. You don't have to get new hardware to get a benefit from DirectX 12. But if you want the full capabilities of DirectX 12, then you want to get a new video card that's built for DirectX 12. Lots of articles. I put an article from um, uh, Extreme Tech, which is a good source for this information. They do a lot of hardware reviews on what DirectX 12 is, what uh, AMD and NVIDIA are doing to support it, what hardware capabilities you know will be added things like that so uh yes if you're a gamer i think you're going to want to but i don't think anybody should right away it's not no harm to wait i know i can't wait if you're one of your person like me you're impatient go ahead and do it right away and it's not going to hurt anything i don't i don't i haven't heard of any issues yet you know grand theft auto will play i believe